I just had the most horrible dream. What happened then? I don't even want to think about it. It's so horrible. We wanted to end the series as a love story between a mother and a son. That was what the show had always been about to us. We always saw the show as kind of a romantic tragedy between two people who loved each other more than any two people could possibly love each other. You wanted good things for them because you saw, under different circumstances, that they could have had a very happy life. Our mission when we started the show was to make you love Norman Bates. We want you to care for him. We want you to love him. And that felt like an incredible ride to take the audience on. What if we could really get you in the shoes of this character who was destined to become a serial killer? I'd like to report a murder. My name is Norman Bates, and I killed Sam Lewis. It was always our idea that we would crisscross our story through some of the mythology of the Hitchcock movie. Season five starts with Norman kind of in the same place that he is in Psycho. He's living alone, his mother is dead, he's imagining that she's not. The instinct was always to go through Psycho. Start and set up the Bates story, to weave Psycho into that, to go through Psycho, come out on the other side of it, but end it differently and have it go off in a different direction. It isn't us doing Psycho. It really is us <laughs> smashing into Psycho. Oh, hello. Sorry for the wait. I didn't hear you in all this rain. No, I'm just happy someone was here. Well, welcome to the Bates Motel. We finally introduce the iconic character of Marion Crane. It was amazing news when we found out that Brianna was going to be Marion Crane. Carlton or Carrie had seen this article where she said that she was a big fan of the show and they sort of moved and asked her if she wanted to be a part of it and she said yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, My aunt used to tell me, ladies eat like birds. Good thing I'm not a bird. Rihanna's version of Marion Crane is a contemporary woman, strong, edgy, in love. She is feminist in that she takes things into her own hands more. Hey! What the hell are you doing? It's an original story and it has its own course of things and I think the audience will be really surprised and excited to see what happens to our version of Marion Crane in our story. Get out of here while you can, okay? We felt it was important to bring Sam Loomis back. The psycho storyline very much affects what's happening in Bates Motel. It provides just a hugely crucial turning point. I hate him. He reminds me of your father. It was a huge episode for us, and we spent a lot of time really talking about it and trying to come up with a meaningful way to do it. It's what you want to do to that castle once I never. He's bad, Norman, like your father was. He's hurting innocent women like your mother using them like trash. The rage is what drives him to kill Sam in the shower. And we wanted it to have impact, resonance, have a point. Where we got to with it was this incredibly cool idea that this would be the first murder that Norman committed as himself, where he was present. He was owning it from the pain that he had experienced in his life that he did not know what to do with or how to get rid of. Oh, mother, what have I done? That's the first time he's ever seen what he's done. It's one of the things, honestly, I'm the most proud of in the show is the convergence of all that into that episode. And that is like a roller coaster, which is the rest of the season. It just felt like a great way to sort of fully connect our story to Psycho in this kind of meta homage kind of way. I unexpectedly found myself caught up in your family's drama. 
I love everything that Chick Hogan is in. Ryan Hurst did an incredible job of bringing to life this weird, eccentric, semi-criminal with a humanistic streak. I really felt like Chick would be the one person in the world who would not judge Norman. It's been a real pain in the ass having to hide every time you came over. I can only imagine. So Chick, in his own mind, had to have a practical reason why he was hanging out at Norman's all the time. And he got this idea to write a book about what he, Chick, was witnessing Norman go through because it is fascinating and it brought it full circle to Robert Block. My guess is that if you ever actually read Chick's book, it would be an insane mess. <laughs> I can be very useful, Norman and discreet. Do you like some more curry, Norman? Norman creates this character of mother to replace his dead mother. In a way, the hopelessness that is created by Norma's death requires Norman to manufacture something just as big in his mind in order to get through. The idea that there are these two beings and this one person, there's points in the season that it really plays out through both of them that are so beautiful and heartbreaking. There is a huge distinction between Mother and Norma. Norma was a person and a personality in her own right and I was solely responsible for playing her. Mother is a construct of Norman's ailing, fractured psyche. She is a deviant personality, and alternately, she also controls Norman. I'm gonna wake you up when things are safe again, okay? It's been great fun this season to explore those moments when Norman becomes mother. It's always been a collaborative thing that Vera and I have kind of come up with together. You know, she'll do one take as mother, I'll do another take, and we'll kind of riff off each other a little bit, and the final product is both visually, but also in terms of the beats and the moments, a real collaborative effort and this mix of ideas that we both brought to the table. Sometimes watching Freddie play mother is illuminating. Sometimes it's irritating. We have to agree upon little things like Freddie likes to cross his legs under the table. I like to feel both my feet planted. I probably blink more than Freddie does in a scene. Little things like that that become issues. It's a funny thing asking two actors who may have two very different techniques and ideas to interpret the same role. It's simultaneously been probably unifying and also very contentious, but that's the great challenge of coming together in collaboration to come up with this, this role of mother. This was also really interesting in the writer's room because we all had to train ourselves to think of her as a real person and not as a figment of someone's imagination. She has things she's trying to do. She has things she wants. She has things that piss her off. And a lot of times we had to have psychological rules that we stuck to, but not behavioral rules for her. Why are you having dinner with someone who looks like me? I don't think she looks like She's you. like me, but 10 years younger. Are you gonna be one of those guys? Mother is just so funny. There was like a sassiness and a badassness, just a hilarious amoral character. <laughs> this is gonna be a long night. I feel like people kind of fall in love with this strange dysfunctional family and along with us, wanted the best for them. From really very early on, we had a very strong, solid, connected idea of how we wanted the show to end. You know everything now, and there's nothing for me to protect you from. I mean, in many ways, I figured the show would have to end the way it did. If you view the journey, or at least the premise behind the show, as being this love story between Norma and Norman, that eventually they're going to have to be reunited one way or another. I think it's lovely the way it bridges the very first episode of the show and the last one and, you know, bringing it to a fitting conclusion. The bond between Norman and Norma is so strong and yet the two of them are faced with a set of circumstances that makes it impossible for them to be together. But maybe in another world they have it. Maybe after death they're reunited in a way that allows them to kind of be together for eternity. This idea that death is a relief for Norman was something that we thought about for a long time and really feel like it was the right ending for our show. That's what I think is hopeful about the end of the show, is that they are finally together once again.